On behalf of the STEM Advisory Council, thank you for seeking out STEM opportunities that will inspire learners and equip them for hopefully pursuing STEM jobs of the future in Iowa. This application does not favor returning applicants in any way. So if you have never completed an application before, we strongly encourage you to apply. To ensure you submit the strongest possible application for a program from the STEM Scale-Up Program menu, we want to quickly run through how to navigate the online application management system and some best practices for completing the educator application. You might be thinking, who can apply? Any pre-K through 12 educator with a public school, private school, or out of school program, such as a homeschool, library, and Head Start in the state of Iowa is eligible to apply. If a school district is completing the application on behalf of multiple buildings in their district, a separate application will need to be submitted for each building. Applicants may apply for more than one program and will have the ability to rank their preferences. The same process applies for organizations applying for out of school programs. We have discovered that the predictive text feature in some web browsers, particularly Google Chrome, interferes with features within our database application system. To more easily complete the application, we recommend two options. First of all, you can use a different web browser without predictive text options such as Firefox, or you can turn off the predictive text feature by opening Google Chrome, clicking on the three vertical dots in the top right corner of the screen, scroll down to settings, and then on the left side of the screen, select the clipboard icon labeled autofill. From the options presented, select addresses and more. You will see on the top, save and fill addresses with a toggle button to turn this feature on and off. It will appear blue when on, so simply click on the toggle button to turn this feature off. Either of these options should allow you to be successful in completing your application. As an applicant, the first step in the application process is to create a user account. You will be required to enter an email address and create a password. This will allow you to access and manage your application throughout the application process. After the user account has been created, you will be able to log in to the online application management system. To submit a new application, you need to click on the button to start a new application. Select Scale Up followed by the program you are applying for. In the application, enter your first and last name, select your city from the drop-down list, and make sure that you do select from the drop-down list in order to proceed to the next item. When you click in the box under organization slash school building, a drop-down will appear listing all the organizations we are aware of in the city you have chosen. Please click on the appropriate organization. If you select an organization that is in the system, upon selection, certain questions below will be self-populated. If your organization is not listed, you may type in the name of your organization and complete the remaining questions. You must list all educators that will participate in the program and the training associated with the program being applied for. If you, as the applicant, are one of the participating educators, you will need to list your name in Educator 1. Click Add Educator to enter the next educator. All educators participating in the Scale-Up program need to be added to the application. In certain circumstances, an educator may be unknown at the time you submit the application due to a current vacancy, future retirement, or a new position. In these scenarios, you may identify an extra educator by clicking on the placeholder button. Complete the information requested. It is required to explain why a placeholder was chosen. If your organization receives an award, the placeholder educator will need to be identified prior to June 1st. As soon as the educator is identified, you will need to contact your regional manager with their first name, last name, and email address. Whenever possible, always enter a name. The demographic information of the learners in the next few questions is referencing those who will actually participate in the program you are applying for, not the overall demographics of your school district or other learning environment. For formal educators, we recommend checking the grade level below yours to estimate the demographics of the students who will participate in the program you are applying for. 
For out of school or informal educators, we recommend basing these numbers on past attendance data you've gathered from similar programs or activities you've hosted in your learning environment. For essay question number nine, for formal educators, we want to see how this program fits in your school-wide or district-wide plans for STEM. How will it help you make STEM interdisciplinary in your classroom? How will it help your school with NGSS rollout or meet other school standards? For informal educators, how does it integrate with your organization's goals? The difference between a good and a great response is simply showing us clear, specific evidence of how you plan on collaborating with other educators, businesses, and others to meet the what is required section for that program. On the next essay question, we want to know the plan for who, when, and where the program will be implemented. On essay question 10, we want to know the plan for who, when, and where the program will be implemented. For essay question 11, we want you to pay special note to the financial investment required for the program in the fact sheet. It will be up to you and or partners to sustain the program through alternative sources for year two. The difference between a good and a great response is clear evidence of the level of involvement from partners in sustaining the program. For example, are you consulting them? Are they working alongside students? And for essay question 12, you referenced the demographics of your classroom earlier in the application. So in this question, the reviewers are looking more for how you will consider the barriers for underrepresented youth in STEM and how this program and your plan to use it will remedy those barriers. How do you plan on recruiting students to your location to experience this program that might not otherwise because of financial reasons or lack of interest? If your anticipated program participants are not underrepresented youth, do you intend using this program beyond the classroom to impact that group and how? Remember, we're looking for this plan specific to the user of this program, not your entire school district or organization. The difference between a good and a great response is evidence that you consider the barriers to participation that impact the specific underrepresented populations of youth in the community served and what actions you currently have or will have in place to reduce those barriers to participation in STEM opportunities. Now you're ready to submit your application. At the bottom of the application, you will have the following options. The save and exit button allows you to come back later if you are not able to complete the application. The submit button will allow for a few final review of the application and submission. At this time, you will want to go through the application to make sure everything is accurate. If everything is accurate, you may select the submit button at the bottom of the screen. That is the final step of submitting your application. An email will be sent to the applicant confirming the application has been submitted. An email will also be sent to all educators identified in the application to make them aware that the application was submitted and to receive their approval for participation. And finally, an email will be sent to the building principal or executive director identified in the application for their approval. At this point, you will want to make sure that all of the individuals identified in your application are aware that they will be sent an email from info at iowastem.org requiring their approval. Your application will not be considered until your building principal or executive director approves the application. Once the building principal, executive director, or any educator is approved, an email is sent to the applicant. The applicant also has the ability to log into the system to review the status of your online application. Your application can be viewed by clicking on the View button located on the right side of the screen. If the building principal or executive director has not approved the application, the applicant may send an email reminder by clicking on the Send Reminder button. To submit another application under the same scale-up program, you may click on the Copy button to copy the application. You will want to go through the application and make the necessary changes to apply for another building within your district or organization. Once you have submitted your application, one of the following terms will be assigned to your application. Incomplete means the application has not been finalized or submitted yet. In process means the application has been submitted, but the building principal or executive director has not approved or rejected the application. Completed means everything has been completed and approved by the building principal or executive director at your organization. 
Rejected means the application has been submitted but rejected by the building principal or executive director. You may go back in to adjust or edit your application and resubmit. Resubmitting your application will trigger a new set of approvals to the individuals listed in your application. If you have any other related questions, you can reach out to your respective regional STEM manager who can guide you along through the application. We also have a frequently asked questions page at the link you see here. And most importantly, we appreciate all that you do to bring high quality STEM learning opportunities to your learners. With your help, we can make a difference in young lives across Iowa and inspire the next generation of STEM literate workers for our state and our world.